my agent had said, look, there's a casting director for a daytime television show named Joan Dincheco. I want you to meet her. And so I did, and I had a meeting with her, and she was wonderful. And she looked at my resume, and she said, oh, my God, I'm so pleased to see somebody who comes to New York prepared. And she said, look, there's a part coming up on a show called All My Children, which I had never seen. Do you know what part? Yes, yes. It was a part that uh, I don't, Mary Kennicott. And she said, you're completely wrong for it. She said, but I want to put you on tape because I want our producer to see you on tape. And I didn't know what she was cooking up in the back of her head. And Doris which Quinlan, was it at the door? Doris Quinlan, who was producing Children and One Life to Live at the same time. So I did the audition, and then I went off to Buffalo. I came back from Buffalo, and my agent said, um, my agent was on vacation, and um, his assistant said, uh, this Joan Dincheco had called, and they're interested in reading you for something for One Life to Live. Well, because I had auditioned for All My Children, I started to watch All My Children. So I thought, okay. And I said, for One Life to Live? I said, I've never watched it. And he said, doesn't matter, go. You're gonna meet with the director tomorrow. He's gonna rehearse you in a scene. No, it was a Friday. I had to rehearse on Monday. And he said, and then you'll do a test. And I said, okay. I said, what's the part? Sorry. I'd never been on television. Never been on television, never done it. Never done it. I knew nothing about television. And I had worked primarily in the round. Milwaukee's in the round. The alley is a thrust stage, so it's three quarters. Everything was very big. My voice was enormous. I had been trained in real voice projection. So I met with the director, David Pressman, on a Monday in a room at 7 West 66th Street. And there was another actor, Bernard Grant, and they had given me the sides, and it was a scene between Victoria and Steve. And when I had asked the assistant, what's it for, he said, it's for a new part. He said, it's not, but they're giving you a scene from characters who are there. And he said, just play the character that's there, but it's for a new part. <laughs> and I said, what's the name? He said, I don't know. Nobody knows. So David directed the, um, directed us, and I left, and we rehearsed it a little bit. And he said, come back tomorrow at 11. Well, my agent was coming back from vacation the next day. So at 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning, I'm traditionally very early for everything. I was supposed to be there at 11 to do the test, so I, of course I was there at 10 o'clock, sitting in the lobby like this, waiting. And I thought, oh, I'll call my agent, because he's just come back from vacation. <clears throat> and I went to the payphone, and I called him, and I said, hey, I've got this audition, that's really cool. He said, for what? I said, one life to live. He said, great, what part? I said, I don't know, I'm reading something called Vicky. And he kind of paused, and he went, really? Oh. And I said, but they said it's not that. They said it's a new part. And he paused again, and he said, oh, okay. He said, well, when it's over, come and see me. So I did. I went and did the test, and I was done in a room, not on camera. Agnes Nixon was there, Joan Dincheco, Doris Quinlan. I think Bud Kloss was there, because he's, he was the associate on um, children. And, of course, David was there. And I think that was it. There was five people. And we did the, te the scene, and I looked, and we finished it, and I looked, and there were these five faces like this. And I thought, okay, well, I blew that. And Joan Dincheco was very sweet. She said, thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And I left. And Bernie Grant, as we walked out, he kind of thought he went, Jesus, he said, um, can I buy you a cup of coffee? You know, he felt so sorry for me. I think he knew I had totally blown it because the looks on their faces, and Bernie was an actor on the show at the time playing Steve Burke. And I said, no, thank you very much. I wanted to go run and hide. And I said, no, I'm going to go and see my agent. So I went to my agent, and I sat in his office. And he said, so how did it go? And I said, I don't know. They were all very stony-faced. And he said, really? He said, so what was the scene? And I said, it was between Vicky and Steve. And he said, oh, OK. And his phone rang, and he picked it up, and he talked for a minute. And he went, yes, no, oh, I see. OK, fine. And he hung up. And we continued our conversation. And about five minutes later, he said, oh, by the way, he said, that phone call, that was them. And I said, who's them? And he said, one life to live. And I said, oh. And he said, yeah, you got the part. And I said, I did? And he said, yes.